Hello. Hi. I thought Lisa was saying hi to Instagram. Hello, guys. Hi. Welcome, YouTube and Facebook. Thanks for joining us. And again, um, I just I apologize for the um, what is it like non 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 living. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's the, my pattern and I, everything was finished and I was so excited and every week something just really badly went wrong, like at the moment when we have to decide. So, but anyway, we back today and we will do another one next week and then guys, it's freaking Christmas. So... YouTube, um, did you guys? Yeah, Christmas music. <laughs> sort of Christmas music. Lisa, Lisa. It failed a little bit. Yeah, it, it went a little bit sad in the end, but. <laughs> it's fine, hey. we'll make a comeback at yeah. the end. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just switched us off and on, but we're back, it's okay. <laughs> Hello, back, back again. <laughs> oh my word. Maya Taisha says, Hello, how are you? Are you good? Lovely hair. Oh, thank you. You, you must be new. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm Amanda, and this is... Lisa. Lisa, my daughter, on the small screen there, with the fairy lights, or the lights. Um, and we are... This is Create with Fabric 8, and we... I'm not going to say it. I have to say it. We try and do this. We try and do this once a week. We normally do. We've had a really bad couple of months, two months. First, every single person in my family has been ill, and then... We had some... Matthew was ill twice. Yeah. We had some issues and Lisa was in Pretoria and, and, and. But it's this time of the year. Nobody's lives are just running smoothly. But we are from the company called Fabric 8. And if you want to find us online, we are at www.thewordfabric. And the number, number eight. eight. And Lisa just informed me that we have 150... Oh, I've 150, 150 something. 150 awesome reviews. And I want to thank each and every one of you. On Google. On Google. No, this is not on Facebook. This is on Google. And I want to really, really thank every single one who takes the time to do that. Because that is where people know. That's how people know that they can trust us. And that's how people see your experience and thank you so much that means a lot that is your christmas present to us and we were just talking about we haven't had anyone um post the new christmas paper so if you do Yay. receive if you do receive a package from us please review us on google and take a picture of our christmas wrapping um just so that everyone can see it Thanks so much. Okay. I will post the link for where you guys can go and review us on yeah. Google in the chat soon. Um, or if I you're here for the to... first time and you want to see what we are about and read what people say about us, go have a look there. But also, if you are an oldie or a semi-newbie but not a super newbie and you want to support our little business, and you want to go and leave us a review that is where it click counts the link go make the review you don't have to review our products you don't have to review our service go type something nice about create with fabric a, yeah. about our free patterns about our giveaways about na -na -na -na. we're not asking you to yeah. be dishonest this is the we yeah. just need it because it boosts our business this business. is the old word of mouth thing there is no more original like word of mouth this is how you tell people who don't know us because, I mean, um, a while back I had someone, you know, when people really stress is when they buy something big. And I, I know this as a, as a person who, who does online shopping that, you know, if you don't receive, it's like you give them the money and only then do you start receiving emails. But you, you first have to give the money. And I had a person um, phone me and tell me, yeah, but you know, I think they were buying a machine and it was quite an expensive machine. I think it was like <laughs> 37 or 40,000 Rand. And they kept telling me, but can't they EFT? Now, I always explain to people, EFT is not just dangerous for me. It's dangerous for you also. Um, because you don't know if the bank account you have for me is the right bank account. 
even if one of my people give it to you, this is the oldest scam in the book. Uh, you make someone pay something and it's not actually the company bank account. So we don't accept EFTs and especially because of the whole pop scam and alles. And this person was very, very um, anxious about paying me. And I said to her, there is no way for me to prove on the phone. I cannot convince you on the phone that I am not a scamster and that this business really exists. But what I can do is I can send you to Google just Google our reviews because those people are actual people. And I'm sure if you comment on our review, did you, you know, uh, those are real people. Comment, but but I no, mean, I mean, Google is very strict. Like yeah. if you go and try and leave two reviews for the same business, they end up throwing both of your reviews out. Yes. If you try and do anything, they very, very strict. And you, and you can, can you get rid of bad reviews on no. Google? So, so that should, uh, I say to her, we don't have a single bad review. We have someone he, right at the beginning who gave us a four star, but the review was like, this is amazing, amazing service. You are great. And I thought to myself, okay, well, that's just maybe a person who doesn't think anyone deserves a yeah. five. <laughs> but anyway, so I think please. we've got like three, four stars, but it's always like amazing. It's like, Nothing can be yeah. better. And then it's four stars. And we're like, I think, okay. I, I suppose those are the people that like, like go, perfection, doesn't, perfection exist. doesn't exist. Except we disagree. We think. We, 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 is, think. we are perfect. Yeah. Anyway, okay. if you want to support our little business, please go and leave us a Google review. Don't, you don't have to review our service or our product. You really can just leave a review about our live streams. Yes. And you will say in there, like, I haven't bought from them yet. Can't comment on that. But like, I've been watching their streams. Super helpful. Really cute. Free patterns. Amazing. And it helps us grow. It helps us grow yes. our little business, our YouTube channel, all our little thingies. So yep. really, really helpful. Yep, and yep, yep. if you then change your mind about us, just to give you guys more security, you can go and remove your review. We can't remove it, but you can. And you can edit it as well. Yes. So. Yes. yes. But, but, but please but don't, don't give us just bad Just five reviews. stars and five amazing stars. service. And then that's it. <laughs> no. But give us an honest review. Um, we, we check them. We check them because... <clears throat> one must always expect something to go wrong and it does happen guys it does happen uh, mistakes happen we've had people um, all I can say is with mistakes we try and communicate as often and as you know we try and communicate the mistake before you know um, we've had a few um, like courier issues and and what what I what I can do once it's left here yeah, is I can track I can you know speak to them but lots of couriers especially if you stay like in a, um, a rural area um, let's for instance say I use fastware okay and um, you stay in a on a pit of pits on a water of wherever fastware doesn't actually have a branch in pits on a water but they have what they call affiliate people so so they have your little courier in town or the courier that actually does drive through your town so they would hand that package over and many times we've noticed the problems we do have is with um, rural areas and it's that last what they call last mile delivery or something like that where it's handed over to a smaller courier um, that has a contract with wh whichever career and many times the problems are with those people and That is many times because of rural areas um, But I do know that most people who live in rural areas know this um, And yeah, and yeah, with the one we do chase them up we do and, we it, do and and funny enough the last three complaints we had by the we would get the complaint like at night so we only see it the, the following morning. morning and then normally by the time we've now like made fire under everyone's bums and we let the customer know yeah that's tracking it's this it's this it's this within half an hour that customer goes oh it's just been delivered thank you mm -hmm. and i'm like Okay. <laughs> Good. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Um, and then another way you guys can support our little business is clicking that like button, please, and yes, subscribe. Yes, 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 yes. We don't, I don't know, spam. <laughs> no, we doesn't don't. doesn't do the whole spam thing, but pressing that like button helps people like you find us. And so also the... 
And that allows us to keep doing this for free for you guys. Yes. And do you want to say the WhatsApp? And we have, um, you always have free patterns at Create with Fabric 8. You can go grab them at wwwfabric 8 create. I've also posted the link in chat. Instagram, it's the link in bio. And uh, they are on there for about a year. Then we take them down. So grab them while they're hot and while they're, and they're free. free. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we also have a bunch of WhatsApp groups for uh, to uh, join people. a group of like-minded people. We're like trying to do this whole community building thing. Our groups are really cute and really friendly and really like supportive, encouraging. Yes. And um, if you have questions on like, oh, I'm stuck on this specific sewing problem or this knitting problem, then well, you're looking someone for will something. chip in someone and knows. explain yeah. it to you and help you or guide you to somewhere where you can get some help. But even just if you want to come on there and brag about your really cool creation, it's a bunch of people that understand how cool it is and how long it's To it be able you. to make something um, yourself. So yeah, you can yeah. go join any also of our like WhatsApp groups. Also machine troubleshooting. That mm. is something that often happens. Yes. And, and someone's had this problem and it doesn't mean your machine is broken. And then someone just goes, oh, but just do this or rethread that or... Yes. Yeah. So we have uh, sewing groups. We have an Afrikaans sewing group as well. We have knitting, crochet, embroidery, quilting, and we have a general updates group. So if you yes. just want to stay in the loop, then join the updates group and you will get no spam and no other messages. It will just be messages from me. <laughs> um, but you can go join any of those groups at www.fabric8.co.za slash create. And I've also posted that link in chat and Instagram. You guys can go to the link in our bio. And people on YouTube, if you want to join in the chat, the chat always gets quite busy and it's really nice to know and and hear from you um you have to subscribe um uh, i always say this youtube does not send you spam there is no email from youtube ever in my inbox and i'm subscribed to many people's pages um if you subscribe you can actually comment and join in the chat instagram yes. You guys only get a beautiful upright picture because that is all Instagram allows us. But if you want more, like today when we're drawing, we have a top camera. Um, YouTube and Facebook has more camera views. And it has some background music. And, and if more you sound, were here at sound. the beginning, you got the lovely little silent <laughs> night and Merry Christmas and all of the musics. Okay, um, guys. So, yeah. So oh, I wait, some people yeah. are saying hi and stuff. Okay. So Gail Fick Antoinette, you're not hello. Too. Hello, hello, I've hello. Done, I've done wa Marikazi and Thelma says hi, hello. So hi guys, thanks for joining hello. us. Hello. Bianca is back with us. I don't feel like she's been here the last like two times. Is that we weren't here. No. No, no, she was here last time. I don't know. She was late, remember? Oh. She was late, right um, during the end. Bianca is one of our admins um, on our WhatsApp groups and uh, Bianca is a, a really consistent supporter. Thank you, Bianca. <laughs> uh, and then Talma is asking, she's so interested in that little lady. Oh. Uh, is, are we going to be selling her? Please say No, yes. we don't. We don't sell her. This, guys, this, is, um, this looks like a toy. I know. And it looks really cute. But it is actually a professional figure form. And the company is literally called Figure Forms. It's a South African company. So it's www.figureforms.co.za. And they're very expensive. Because this is what's used in the industry. In the industry. Industry. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we did. We do. We do. Did I? Did I? We do have a little... Um, new little mannequin on our website tiny one black one for just cute but i don't know where they are i don't even see them they are on the website what would they be called they t -t 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 uh dress them. form figure form mannequin i don't know i can't remember oh dress form mini mannequin yeah it's about this oh big. it's like a metal no it's it's plastic it's like oh but it's like that frame but it's but it's just cute too you know, to have and to if you're decorating your. Well, I don't know where work. that would be. Hmm? I don't know where that would be. Where should I? It's a pump. I don't know. It's a pump. Yeah, it's no, here. It's, yeah. It's here. But cool. But yeah. Okay. So um, funny <laughs> I'll post enough. The link. <laughs> uh, yeah. On the weekend, I um, 
was on Facebook and I I don't always but I many times I try and um, if people are on other groups or anywhere and I have the answer the right answer um, I try and comment and try and help people so the funny thing is that I someone posted on a sewing group and I could see that they were looking for something but I could see that they'd actually taken a picture from our website and that's what triggered me into looking into it there was a, a picture of our website as the picture on the Facebook post and then I was very surprised to see there's quite a few people looking for this because that wasn't the only post there was another post on Sunday Saturday I saw this post and on Sunday I saw this post I commented of both that it is something um, I'm going to explain to you now what it is but I commented that funny enough I was investigating this and I had ordered samples the ordered samples didn't come right I Friday afternoon received the next sample which I also haven't tested so I'm going to be testing it on live tonight and uh, on Monday morning we had three two emails actually two whatsapps and an email asking about the same product which to me indicates well firstly that i knew it was going to be popular that's why i ordered the samples but secondly that people are actually seeing it somewhere and they don't know where to get it okay so what is it i'm going to just move my lady out of the way here um hello tanya hello hello okay so what it is is it's 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 an extension or a better, bigger, smarter version of the magnetic seam guide. Okay, so I'll show you the one that did arrive first. Um, oh, guys, we're also testing out a different sound situation tonight. So let us know how the sound is, especially uh, when Amanda's like up close, <laughs> like yeah. to the microphone with noises and also with the... Um, Sewing and talking while sewing. Here's a let's do a test. No, oh, that's up close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I saw this about six months ago, and um, I ordered it. Okay, so when it arrived, it arrived in this sort of format, and in my, I always say my small brain, I thought, okay, but that's not a problem. I can still there's screws and there's holes and there's holes in my machine but for some reason <laughs> this does not attach to a domestic a, a, a modern domestic machine so this one is actually made for a industrial machine and um like everything that you order from a chinese supplier it doesn't actually say industrial machine or domestic machine um it's just said magnetic seam guide you know adjustable wah 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 <coughs> <coughs> sorry so on friday <coughs> i also recently saw that there are different ones so i don't i i actually ordered this one i actually ordered two as samples but i received the exact same one yeah, from I two different it, supplies it from the top. Hmm? i'm gonna just so from different suppliers i actually received <coughs> exactly the same thing <laughs> um <clears throat> so what this one is what makes this well i don't know if it's gonna work okay so this one instead of like screwing onto your machine this one works like a magnetic seam guide so this bit is mag a magnet and oh gosh it works <laughs> it works really good it looks strong it looks it works really good okay so let me just get something that we can run through there a piece of fabric um to test it so basically let's just get a, a smaller piece basically what this does and i'm not quite sure um because i haven't myself needed to use it um the, the the normal magnetic seam guide doesn't have this bit okay so it's just it 
magnet uh, it magnetizes to the machine what do you say it attaches to the machine and then your fabric runs like this and this is how it keeps it straight so this added bit I, i'm not quite sure oh wait this can this can be turned see to make this bit higher so if you're working for instance with batting or like a thick layers of fabric you can actually i think this one is a, a little bit bent but yeah anyway are I you saying this was like on tiktok and stuff i don't know where other people saw it oh uh, i said i think it was probably yeah. on a video or something. so i think what it does is it turns down can you see it goes down and then it also semi hold your fabric i don't know if that's the best plan so i think it should be just above your fabric so that you sew like that so what it will avoid is it'll avoid um the the the, the natural creases of going through your machine because it's keeping your fabric flat so you can obviously move this to how close ever you want to get just it's quite a tight a tight freaking magnet what <laughs> so it's, oh, that's, it's probably good. that's probably a good thing so okay so see it also can help you so if you um I'm yeah gonna... it is a youtube video is it it's a fear yeah uh, okay there's one well, but she does stuff that you didn't do what does she do okay but she has the 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 knee that's that that is why i ordered two i thought i'd ordered one of those but again that's an industrial machine okay okay so okay. the industrial machine this whole bed is metal okay so as soon as it has this bit that does this yes it means it's for an industrial machine oh god uh, yeah the what? Little bit this way. A little yeah. bit the other way, sorry. <laughs> this way. Yeah, there. Okay, so this, that is a sort of variant of this one. Yes. Make it not screw in, but magnetize. Ah. Yeah. So this one, yeah, I'm going to just, let's just sew a bit and see. Because I think you don't have to, you don't want to press down too hard with this. But you want it to sort of gently hold. The fabric. I don't think you want to because if it holds it too much, your fabric is not going to actually go through. Yeah, she no, no. Like, that's the screwy thingy that. Yeah, but see, that's an industrial machine. That's uh, also, metal. Oh well, there's a million. Meters. Yes, but that's the point <laughs> I made. Oh, I I saw it six months ago because this this I received probably six months ago oh. as a sample. And I literally, because then there was no magnet ones. This was the only one. Mm. And I thought, no, no, there is a screw on my machine. I can, but if I screw that, this, can you see? Yes. This is past my needle. Yes. So on an industrial machine, there's many screw holes yes. for all the attachments. Okay. All right. So, okay. So this is the, the new fix. And um, we... Yeah, tell me say she's been looking for one like that. Yes. I will say she loves that. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna just sew and see if Oh oh wait. It it And you're not even touching it. Huh? Well I'm I'm touching it, semi. Um I think this will be very handy for people who do um as I said earlier today, yeah. who does a lot of straight stitching. You know, like um yes. making belt loops or or things like that or even um, you know if you're making a, a huge big matric dance dress those those hems can be literally a hundred meters long because yeah. you've got so many so um, I'm also gonna just quickly did you only get samples of those? I, I, <laughs> For now. yes because yeah. if this one had worked out we would have had it already yeah. but then I gave up on the idea because I thought to myself I was, I was How many people have an industrial sewing machine? Mm. And then I saw these and I thought, well, I'm going to try them because mm. it Sasha might was, it might actually work. Is it life changing? She's um, been eyeing it. I don't know if it's life changing because I don't use magnetic seam guides. It would be interesting to compare it to the other magnetic seam guide. 
Well, the other one is, as I said, it just doesn't have that bit. Yeah, it's also not as strong, so it will move easier. Yeah. Well, Especially yes. if you're working with like thick, big, curtain fabric. So yes. So I'm going to just do a quick so my iron on the table. Just huh. so I can oh. see. Um, it's not working really well because I'm too... St okay, so I just want to see if... Oh. Okay, so this... This is where this this little bit's gonna help you. It's when you are actually turning a hem. So I'm gonna not actually sew that side that I've just ironed. I'm gonna turn a hem like this. Denise is definitely a mustache. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the hem, look. And I'm gonna put it in so it's not ironed down. See? That's where that bit comes in. Very handy. Oh, to like actually. So you don't have to because Normally mm. you would have to hold it. Okay, wait, now do it. I'm going. Oh, I wish I had a zoom on the, the I don't have a zoom. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just, it should just work the same. But yeah, look. But it does hold that for you. Yeah. Um, that's cool. So yeah. So yes, um, we are, um, we should make a video so we can go viral. <laughs> I'm just well, yeah, now. but I I should I we should stop. Let him. me let me see. I won't get them before Christmas. I mean I, um, no. there's no way I'll get them before Christmas. But um, In the and I still I still have to figure out what are the costs going to be because ordering them one like this uh, is actually expensive. Can I see? So um, so let me here tomorrow speak to them and see. If I order a little bit of quantities, because this is also quite a weight, ne? This is not and like... Where is the screw at the top for? I told you, it's to lift, to lift this for oh, thicker fabrics. Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking yeah. right now. Mm. So, so let me get a price. I don't know, is there, has anyone bought one or seen one for sale in South Africa? And what are the prices? And are they, do they look like this? Because if I have an idea of price, I know they are more expensive than the normal feet I get. They, they definitely are. Cost, You're making cost. so much noise. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. All right. So, yeah. Let us know if you've seen them somewhere. So, we can get a price indication. And also, let us know if you would want one. You're not looking at 100 Rand. Uh, how much is the other one? A lot cheaper. No, it's a lot cheaper. Um, mm, a lot. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just looking at... If I, if I import this, né, this weighs the same as 10 or 20 normal foot feet 132 no that's a foot oh what are you looking at on I'm our website no what people yeah. are selling it for 150 150 frugo i don't know oh no frugo is not south time. african oh. frugo means they are importing, importing it from china um and you're gonna wait six to eight weeks Fun fact, if you search metal seam guide on Google, we are second. But 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 we've also let me explain something else that happened today. Mm. We are um we are in the testing phase of quite a few new um add-ons to our website. One is gonna be pre-order. Yeah, which is also like a proper pre-order pre system. Pre-order system. One is gonna be a better wish list, ne? Yes, but we couldn't taste we that. We couldn't today. taste that. We we are waiting for the we, the 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 we we tasted the free version so now we yeah okay one is going to be a um quick view i don't know if you guys know other websites where you're like on the page where there's 50 products and then you can click quick view and that you don't have to actually enter into that product it brings up a little screen so that's a new add-on we also um gonna have very soon that's gonna be for next year is very soon to me <laughs> uh we also gonna have bulk discounts um what else was there i'm gonna i'm opening it now to check i also um, can't remember anymore like also little stupid like yeah, things that that, that, they won't that yeah but like i don't know if you guys have ever seen our variable products is um it's like say say we have 10 colors of 10 something. colors of this okay so then it gives you the pictures of the 10 colors at the bottom and on the right hand side it gives you a list but now say there's a peach and a light pink and a pink and a... You don't actually... You can't click on the picture and it selects the list. 
So we're also working on that. Yeah, Doesn't matter where you better, pick. Yeah. Okay. So we are we are really working hard to make the whole experience easier for you. They, There's bulk discounts, free gifts. Oh yeah. And then also, um, like free gifts would be so cool. Like if you spend a thousand rand certain times of but the year, we might give you a little but see, Christmas I, something something I, with it. Like I actually want to bring that in, maybe for for the like a spend cap. Yes. And then there's a next. That's a second tier gift. Yes. And a third tier gift. So we yeah. are working on it. Oh, wait list. Oh. I actually didn't even see it has this, but that's yeah. so flipping cool. That is, if we're out of stock, yes. you can stay on the product. It also has list. another one there that I liked, um, where it tells you how many minutes is left that something stays in your cart, because mm. we've had people who say, something's disappeared out of my cart. Yes, if someone else buys it, <laughs> <laughs> it will disappear out of your cart. So um, this will give you. Yeah, you know, there's like a lot of. Yeah, stuff, so we got. Are we are ones. really working to free. make the whole website experience easier and better, and I also. Frequently bought together. Oh yeah, that so. Would be so cool. And then we yeah so we, yeah. We'll this this does nothing for <laughs> us upgrading and and putting these things in. This is not for us. It doesn't make our website easier to use for us. We are trying to make the website better for you guys. So if ever you do experience something awesome on our website, please tell us. If you experience something that's not really very awesome. great, <laughs> please tell us that also. Guys, just always be, be aware that it's your actual internet connection. It's not... It could be. It could it, be your actual internet yes. connection. It, it could mostly, also be us, but it It could mostly be is the actual interconnect internet yeah. connection we very very we maybe had one or two crisis moments where our website was down yeah um so yeah anyway okay so um, a lot of messages saskia says she's busy sewing some silky pajamas yeah and it's not as tricky as she thought it's not what as tricky as she thought no 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 it shouldn't no mm -hmm. No. Antoinette says the sound works perfectly while sewing and speaking simultaneously. Good job, Lisa. Okay. Awesome. And Saskia says, I think Material Girl in Durbanville said they have those. I don't know. Is Material Girl on... That, I know. You were on the oh, same group as me. I would be... I'm, I'm not going to say it. I would be very surprised. But if they have it, freaking awesome. Uh, Gail says, uh, I'll have to wait. I'd love one. Thelma says, we'll definitely need both for domestic and industrial. I don't mind waiting. At Thandwa says Snatcher is selling it for three thirty. Saskia says she saw on Facebook, but Snatcher. Yeah. Okay, but, but that's can also we, an import we, thing, isn't it? No, 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 no. I'm just gonna write this down because, because as I said, no, no, because that's okay. If I can't, if I can't get it cheaper than another place, there's no, there's no point to me trying, yeah. you know. Snatcher and Material Go. Yeah. So I want to see if it's the same thing because this is surprisingly. It doesn't come up when I Google it, though, and I understand why very, because there's there's a lot of variations. It's a very on proper it. thing. This is this not. Mm. Saskia said she saw on Facebook, but they didn't mention a price. Mm. Uh, Frog Mando says fifty rand on creative notions. Oh, this is also again not the same thing. Yeah, that's saw, probably the little. I one. saw creative notions comment, and I thought to myself, okay. I think I just saw it. Like when I googled it, but I don't think that 50 rand one is the same as this one. It's the it's the cheapy. It's version. the one without this bit, hold holding bit, yeah, uh, and it's much smaller. Seam guide. I'm checking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and um. I saw them comment. See, I don't think people who commented yeah, the businesses, it. they don't they this this. I I don't think they've seen the videos. They've not seen oh, well, this. Oh, one. Yeah. Is no, this is the same as the other one we have. Yes. So if you're looking for that one, we the normal them. vanilla one. We have yeah. them. We have two or three different I ones. I will find the link to our. We have GP a plastic one. one. Cheapy ones. Yeah, we have a plastic one and a metal one. Yeah, magnetic. Mm. I'll post the link to our magnetic seam guides. They're not as fancy as this one. Yeah. No, um, this is this is an upgrade. But yeah, same price. Mm -hmm. this is but quite, support us instead please. I am I'm <laughs> really quite surprised at the what do you say like the the, the make of this it is yeah, it feels very it's solid. very solid and it's stainless so I mean it's like 
It's a freaking big magnet. Anyway. All right. So, very exciting. We got to actually, we're five minutes over time. We got to be, be very quick tonight. So, I have, um, I wanted to revisit um, the Easy Beach cover that we did last year because it was very popular. And um, we are redoing all our patterns and making it, uh, giving it nice and fancy. Yeah, fancy. And Wait, also, go from the top so you guys can see. And, and also give it more, more more value add value as they say okay so last year um we did do this there wasn't proper pictures and everything and everything but i am not oh, gonna instructions we no. didn't give anything no. to but this yeah. what i've done what i want to do is this is i'm not going to make one tonight because it's super easy but i am going to show you how to do it just how to measure because unfortunately with this sort of thing um, you know, people people differ so much up top <laughs> in the breast vicinity that um, I can't make a pattern. <coughs> okay, and this type of thing is also very dependent on are you big up top and small at the bottom, or are you big at the bottom like me? I'm wide at the bottom and smaller on top. So, I'm going to explain to you, this is why um, this little girl is here. Um, and if you look at the beach cover up, you'll see it says everything has printing instructions. But then, on page two, you'll see how to measure, okay? It says, measure yourself. So, I'm going to measure myself. But then I'm going to measure on her so that we, when we draw the pattern... We're not actually making this bigger pattern, okay? Measure yourself from just, there's a little picture, just above your breast down. So, let me explain. If you look at this, if you look at this picture, just above so the breast. The lead time is 7 to 10 days on Snapchat. Yeah. And um, it's currently on discount, it's usually 500. Which, which it is, is now? Insane. One? It's 500 usually and now it's 350. Yeah, I didn't think. I wonder if that is a I, real discount or if that's like a, one of those fake discounts. Uh, see, I, I was thinking, mm. I was thinking in the vicinity, if I just look at what the single one has cost me to get here. Yeah. I, I was thinking, obviously, I'm going to get a better price on my um, delivery. And if I buy more, I might get a better price. So I was thinking it's going to at least be 150 euros. Just now. To cost? No. To, oh. to sell. Oh, well, they're selling it for five. Well, this is my point. Is I was looking at, uh, but you never know because, as I said, this is quite a heavy thing. Yeah. If one of these is the same price as, uh, the same weight, <laughs> as 10 yeah. brother feet that I get in. So, it's, it's going to be a, yeah. Okay. So, I just want to explain the wording. Measure yourself from just above your breast down. And, okay. So, just above your breast, that's, me, that's the bit. I almost want to say, if you look at this, where you want the strappies to start. So, don't measure it here because then you're going to get like a weird, a weird nipple covers only. Um, so, it's the form about, I would say, here. No? There we if I look at my bras sorry, going... Sorry, I'm not showing that. Sorry, sorry, I lost Okay. And so, you are behind the doll. Okay. Alright. <laughs> let me, let just stop. Okay, so it says measure yourself from just above your breast. Now, if you look at my bra, there's my bra. There's the little circle of my bra. So I'm going to go from there. <coughs> behind me. Okay, wait. Like this. No? I'm, I'm, I'm exactly a measuring tape. Oh, wow. Approximately one meter. Okay. <laughs> so, so can you see that I'm also not pulling this up and tight? Yes. I'm making it that's comfy. Beaky. Drop. To give me that like back swoop. Swoop. Okay. So on, on our goal, which is the pattern we're going to just quickly design. <coughs> can we just talk about... I'm trying to show <coughs> the, that as well. Do you want me to only show you at the moment? No, the at the moment, yes. Okay. okay. So, if I work with her, I'm going to go... You can see the old mark is still here. From there, I'm going to go. And I'm going to swoop it in the back. 
and I'm gonna go up like that and to me it looks like about 60 centimeters okay so that with me it's about 150 with her it's 60 centimeters all right so now if you want to show the paper yeah i don't really want to switch it all the time okay so if you want to show i'm going to draw next to this you can put the doll here no no i don't need her again. Oh, okay. okay so um i did give an example of 150 how did i know that was my size <laughs> okay but so the whole the full pattern of this goal is a 60 centimeters but on me we use this example of 150 so that okay so I'm gonna just draw this all right so on her that whole area is 60 centimeters all right okay another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get whatever length I need and I always remember you've you you've swooped down in the back so measure from there because that would be your longest length if you want to cut it shorter then it's easy but don't measure from here because then the difference see between my back and the top here is quite a bit so um, we'll just go try and do this hers is 27 guys don't don't use these measurements it's for the doll. It's for the doll. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we got. That is that is the base of the pattern. Very nicely explained in the pictures. Next, you're going to fold it double. So I'm going to draw it. There it is. Okay. And um, I'm going to let me just draw it. So we're going to fold it double. So this bit is now 30. That bit is 30. And this is a fold 27 centimeters. And then. You can be pedantic about this, all right? You can. And I would suggest that this is, a, this is such an easy thing that if you make a mistake, you know, next time make another one. So if you want to be pedantic, you're going to actually, because this is the bit that your arm, this corner here, that your arm is going to go through. So you can do that from where I measured. And I don't want to be showing too much side boob so that's 26 and then you can just mark a half circle measuring that as whatever hers is all right so it's it really is this easy people and obviously that you're going to cut like this on both sides okay my suggestion here is that you do this in a stretchy fabric or a knit because then you don't actually even have to seam it if you're doing this in a woven, now a woven means there is no stretch. Remember that the stretchy bit is going to stretch around your widest part, which many times is your hips, while the woven bit is not going to stretch around your... Okay, so just be sure. So take a piece of fabric, drape it like that and see if how to change it but this actually works best in in like a really soft t-shirty fabric okay so now that we've done that once we open this up again the patterns most now going to look like that and there's the center so this is gone all right there that is and now there are two different options of actual hems if we leave this pattern like this it'll have a straight hem which you might prefer if you don't like to have that little V in the front so that your, I don't know, your upper leg show. If you want it to be slightly more sexy um, and you don't mind showing your upper legs and it's, you're not going to, you know, walk from the beach to the spur with this, but you, then, well, whatever, then you can also do this one. All right, so once you've done that, on those curves, and I'm going to show you the pattern now, the piece of fabric. Gail asks, can you do it in cheesecloth? Cheesecloth, yes. But cheesecloth is not um, stretchy. So you're going to have to actually, I would, I would suggest that you actually have to take a bit of fabric and drape it. And make sure that that measurement actually covers your hips also that is if you have wider hips 
than say your like I know for a fact I am wider here than I am around here so I know that I would rather make this slightly bigger than that measurement even though and and have the back go even droop a bit lower to fit my hips in so that it doesn't open up when I like put it on okay and then chiffon and viscose <laughs> chiffon and viscose are both woven so the same that's the same answer I just gave okay okay my suggestion is get yourself a nice like I mean look at these this t-shirt fabric make one in t-shirt see if you like it and then this is a pattern that you can adjust to whatever works for you just keep in mind that this measurement that we're working on now is an upper body measurement and if you wider in your bum area think about it if i make something that fits here with a with a fold over like any wrap dress as soon as it goes to the bottom it might be completely open in front so it's more of a jacket than a dress. Yeah. Okay. So then you end up with these arm bits. Okay. So when it's, when you have a stretchy fabric, this, I mean, this pattern I cut a year ago, it hasn't actually unraveled or anything. You don't actually have to do that. You can literally take two strips of fabric and you can put one on there and one on there and I would I would attach this one sew it on and then have someone help you make sure that this length you know like you would measure I don't know anything a swimming costume if you make your bra shorter is move it until it's comfortable but that in effect is the easy simple way of doing it I have also seen people take like this and what they would do is they would hand sew just around the cord around the fabric and mm. and 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 get it like that but that system actually works better if you look at the second option where you attach two loops on this point a loop there and a loop here so then you are gonna sew that and this bit's going to go through the loop and then tie at the back. So that whole tie system makes it actually fit you perfectly. Okay. So just so you can see, that's the straight hem. The curved hem, the more, more sexy one, is nothing's changed except can you see that we have curved from that underarm to the front all right and remember this bit the shorter bit is the front bit that is the actual back anyway so what you end up with is this I'm gonna have the goal up here now again but I just want to show this quick so there is this that is the curved hem one that's what the pattern looks like okay I never designed a pattern even last year when we made this I just <laughs> cut it from my this instruction so let's just show you how cute this Ooh. looks oh she's she's, she's 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 wobbly she's out okay so i am gonna just pin it to her it's the nice thing about this so we're gonna we're, stab her in the boob yeah that's we're two gonna, words i shouldn't have used on youtube oh gosh yeah <laughs> nee. So we're gonna just pin that there, okay? Onto the upper quadrant of the and left brace. That look, and this is gonna go around and around. Let me get the other strap quickly. This doll has a nice and skinny bum. Yeah, no, she's she doesn't have that problem. We could so, do woven fabric. Okay, with her. I'm just gonna pin it so I can show you how you would actually measure these straps so i'm going to put that there and pin her pin her and this remember this is the underarm so now when you do your measuring you're gonna bring this 
Remember, there's an arm here, guys. There's an arm on a real person. And this is just happens to be perfect for her. The fabric sticks to her, so it doesn't want to like. I just gotta. But that is there. And this one is now here. There. And guys, this is that one that I promise you, it's the same one that people go like. It's like you pull on the one arm and it just whoops. And there it is, perfect. Okay, so um, it's actually loose on her, but because she's made of fabric, <laughs> it is uh, clingy. it's clingy. Ooh, the schmuddle again. And look, look, and it's even, it's, it's quite a flattering thing, I think, you know? And that's why I said, start with it quite long. Make sure that you, no, she's not. She's not scared. Of, <laughs> remember, she's model size at fifty percent. She's fifty yes. percent of model size at scale. Yeah, no, no. There's nothing going on up there. But remember, a lot of people are not trying to hide everything. They just want something that is slightly more covering than a costume or a bikini. No, no. Run, plus, yeah. this is very short. You could make it longer. But this is a waist, nay. Eh? Yeah. This is a waist. So this is going to cover just. Just enough. Just <laughs> enough of that. And, um, yeah, as I said, this is the it's sexier cute. version. Show the back as well. Let me just make it. It is clinging, though. I can yeah. see the fabric doesn't want to It move. doesn't want to lift or anything. Yeah. How cute, guys. So Imagine this on the beach. You just, like, take it and you... Yeah. No, she's not... She's very clingy today, I've got to say. But it, and it's also not perfectly aligned here. Let's just get her, this left, right boob is not, it's not aligned. And this right one is like, brace. this is like on her shoulder. That's when you Gail try. says I love it. This is when you try and show things from behind the doll. Mm -hmm. It never, it never. Saskia, we you here last time we did this pattern? Is that what you're saying, deja vu? Yeah, Saskia no. Saskia says moi. Moi. Yeah, we've done this, but that's why I have, I've, I've, I've done another. Anyway, uh, that's her. Okay? So, Ready. that is now, I've given you more options. And we've revisited because, actually, Yay! I wanted to do a kaftan for uh, people like me. What I do in summer, if I'm working from home, is I put my costume on in the morning when it's really hot. And I put, I have a few caftans and I put them on. And when I'm so hot that I can't breathe, I jump in the pool and I get out and I put my kaftan on wet and I'm cool for about two hours. And then I go back in the pool and I don't really swim. I just like cool down and having to not put back my pants and my alles, it works really well. So. But then but I you drew it like a really sexy. I have <laughs> a really vanilla caftans, so I wanted to give you slightly more options because this is also something that if it's made in a really like slinky silky fabric, oh, like it's with also like a, a gold, gown. like a belt, a gold belt, it actually can look. If you go Google. Um, like um, red carpet caftans. They are like awesome looks. Okay, so it's not a vanilla one. And um, if you look at the little picture, I also give you what I call the, it's called a wow, wow slit, wowy slit, <laughs> and a modest slit. Okay, so you don't have to go up <laughs> to there. Yeah, and if you go at the V, that V is obviously for with a swimming costume and maybe some people will never wear it like that. <coughs> I, for instance, would never wear it that low because then this roll is going to show, which I don't find very attractive. Um, so I have given you options on both, okay? So this is the pattern and it's just been shrunken in at scale to actually fit our... Madam over here. All What's right. Her name? 
We don't have a name. Let's get the crowd to make a name. We so need a name for our, 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 our mannequin. How is the votes going? Snowball. No, no. It's going like to be like really something like... Messed uh, up name, guys. Like Snowball. Uh, like, like Marilyn or uh, Martha. My previous, my big doll Martha. was Martha. Martha. Okay, guys, give us some suggestions. I'll do a poll. Okay, guys, so we need to move here. Yeah? Okay, where are we moving? We have to get this done because this is also very easy, but we actually do need some time to go through it because I'm supposed to, to actually sew it. I find what asks, can we do a short kimono pattern? One day. I always, I always get that question. It a, looks so easy. a kimono pattern, you need to be able to make a basic bodice block first. It looks so easy. No, it does, it's not easy. <laughs> and that's why the kimonos you buy in shops actually tear under the arms or actually ain't. Okay. Come on. Yeah, no, not now. Maybe later. Okay, so what, what, what I did is I cut. This pattern is for your front and your back. On the back, if you look at the picture. Your pattern will be bigger than that. Obviously, your pattern will be as tall as you. On the back... There is no center seam. And on the front, there is a center seam. Why? Because we have the slit. You can't make a slit in the middle of fabric. You need, a, okay. So when you cut the back, it's this pattern, cut on fold. So you can see it actually has two bits. Matthew says, first name Manny, last name Ken. <laughs> Manny Ken. And then the front bit, uh, is two uh, completely separate pieces, okay? So the first the first bit we need to do is we need to, did I mark them? I did not, okay. Oh no, I did, there. Is we need to mark where we want the slit. So that's the Wawi and there's the modest slit. And we are gonna, so Which from- Which one are you making for? Wow, but I, it's very difficult to know because you just saw. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I don't know where the wall is going to be, but yeah. So I need to sew a seam connecting the two front bits to wherever I want the slit to stop. And you'll see that I also overlocked all the pieces. And this I did because this is a very um, fraying fabric, but also so that if I just want to turn my edges, I don't have to overlock them first. So we're just going to do the front seam quickly. And um, seam allowance per usual, one centimeter. And you are going to stop at the point where you want your slit to start or end. And when it says Dita, as in Dita Von Thies. Oh yeah. But um, I need I need like a more a longer <laughs> name. Gail says she looks like a Delilah. Oh Delilah. See Marilyn Delilah. So the votes are currently between Manny Ken, mm -hmm. Dita, Delilah and Snowball. Okay, but send something like Anushka. It's like a. Uh, I've already sorted the vote. <laughs> <laughs> we can both. Oh, in. Black in my... Okay. What was that? That's just the one of the rulers that fell. Oh. I keep looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> I know, I know. And last time I never looked at the other one. I <laughs> am just not really good at this. No, so, guys, right. this fabric of mine. You know what they say, if we can't do, teach. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm good at teaching. Okay, so that's my front bits. Okay. There's my Wowie slit, which we are just going to hem or whatever. That's All right. Opportunity. You could have called it a slutty slit. Wowie. Okay, I was being nice. All <laughs> right. Then we also have the pattern piece like this that says summer caftan wow and modern version modest version this is the shoulder piece on the shoulder piece i also say there 
that you can use two times soft fusing. Why do I say this? If you are making a chiffon uh, kaftan to put over your costume, chiffon is very stretchy. And the one bit you don't want to stretch, because the rest can stretch, because it'll just flow with the rest of the look. But you actually don't want this, the shoulder pieces to stretch out. Because that is sort of, that that's the bit that controls the look. All right? So I just took a very, very um, thin, soft fusing, just to keep it from stretching. All right? And um, on the pattern, it shows you. So I am going to, there's my front. I am going to line up there's that mark and there's that mark i'm going to just line this up so <laughs> it does it does explain it very well in the i'm going to line that up yeah in the right side is it right side to right side and it should just fit if everything is cut right all right and then yeah, this is, would violin strips out Vi violin is fusing violin is a brand name Oh, is that what you're using? Yeah. Oh. Vileen is a brand name. We, act, <laughs> we, we actually don't even get Vileen in our country. <laughs> but Vileen is like, if you're talking about soda, like pop or whatever they call it in America, it's like Coca-Cola. That's a brand. That's the word Vileen. It's called fusing or interfacing. Everyone on YouTube, please vote, man. We need what a name for our doll. I'm going to have to open up the second, All right. second set of votes. Okay, so I've just attached that okay. to the front. All right. And I'm just going to sew that together at one centimeter. And the same actually you happens. Put the thing. No, no, no. I'm, I, we, <laughs> we are working against time and I can't do new things when I'm not working against time. All right. So... We're going to do that to the back also, but first, before we actually attach the back and the front to each other, we are just going to do one or two more things to, to, to do. Okay, that's that. And just get this sewn. This is such an easy um, pattern. I keep wanting to say recipe. Why? But it is a recipe. It's a recipe for... A, so important. Same thing. Possibly. Um, our website guy says he can do the security updates tonight. Well, he says he will do the security okay. updates. Okay. No, that's correct. Do it. Not like, can I do it tonight? So okay. Like, so that's it. that. Why? Oh, this. <laughs> I thought, why did I sew this together? It's just a little. There we go. All right. So the next bit we need to do is we need to, and you'll see that I marked it um, on here is um, to make the little now you don't need this for the actual drawstring but what you do need is you need the two you can see um, the two buttonholes because otherwise when we put a belt around this it's pulling everything <coughs> including the kaftan bit that's your sleeve so you want if you want to put a belt around you want it to just singe there so that you get that effect the sleeves are not pulling the sleeves are part of this whole bit so two ways of doing that okay so you'll see that i gave you little marks for um i call them buttonholes depending on what you're going to do if you are just going to put a little string through there then a small buttonhole is perfectly fine if you know you're going to put it like a really thick, wide belt. That actually needs to be a lot bigger than the little button hole I gave you. Okay? So, I am not going to make the button holes now because that's going to, I need to make four button holes and that is going to take too long. So, I'm just going to actually be, be slightly, I'm going to make it so that. I'm going to just iron some um, fusing on there where I'm going to cut it so that if I redo or fix it up, I actually 
because of this fabric being so freaking fray crazy. Okay. Crazy. Um, so just imagine that I've now taken out my buttonhole foot <laughs> and I am, oh, yeah, there's something you should never do. Ever. Is get the wrong side of the fusing showing up. Which is always difficult when you're working with this really thin fusing. <coughs> and now it's probably going to stick to my, yeah, iron because now that plastic glue. is that glue. As I said, this is not the best fabric, but I didn't have anything else here. This is a woven fabric. This is a woven, but that's fine because the the caftan, I, I've given you enough different sizes that if you're using a woven, you you just make it bigger. This this can just literally go bigger. Okay, so I uh, imagine this is me making buttonholes. But I want you to be able to see the end result. And okay. And the same goes for the back, which we just have to the drawn side. Okay. So let's just do that again. Alright. So these are just the little buttons holes I'm making. Alright, you'll see on the pattern and those lines that I've made there, that is. I don't want to um, get this stuck to the iron. Those are, if you want to be, if you want to control the waste. In other words, in my opinion, if you have these holes, that is enough and that leaves it open to leaving it and just wearing it big or putting a little belt through it okay depending on what you're using it for if you're making it like an evening dress why oh amanda used the iron iron away pencil <laughs> and i just iron <laughs> that's funny oh that's that's fine it's the same it's um then i would suggest that you put you'll see there's a um instruction is this so stomp? Can I just get a scissors that actually cuts? Um, what what we what you call like a, a, a drawstring track or a draw drawstring channel? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna either make your own bias binding, or you're gonna take the bias binding that you can buy like this. And you're gonna buy it mine away. <laughs> and you're gonna just make a track. So <laughs> I'll show it to you now. That's that. So now we've done that. And um, let's say we wanna do the little um, controlling the little string. And you're gonna make that horizontal line. You're gonna, from the hole, where's my hole? There's my hole. From in front of the hole, I'm gonna put that there. Da da da, and in front of this one, and I'm going to stop, and that just makes a track that you are going to sew at the top and at the bottom, so that this actually runs through there and is controlled. But I personally would first make it without that and just the buttonholes, because I'm sure, and we're going to figure that out now. It's going to work the same anyway. All right, okay. So now, once we've done that, we need to do this bit. Remember, this is our shoulder piece. We need to add the shoulder piece on the pattern markings and add the back. So this is where don't look at the pattern and think, oh man, that while we... <laughs> That while we <coughs> neckline, you know, if you do it like this, oh, that's just, that's fine. It's going to be fine. Remember that you still have the shoulder piece. So this bit actually only starts here. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna fix the back to the front, same way I did the front to to the uh, the to the shoulder bit. It's it's a super super easy, guys. It really is. Um, I want you to get this because I want to get it done because I think this is like the perfect time, all the Christmas parties, uh, to have this and make yourself. Like, yeah, make yourself like, you know, look like the freaking Kardashian at the party. If you have this in like a awesome, um, like see-through, like sexy version mm. or in a version where it's not see-through and you can literally walk from the beach to the ice cream shop and it doesn't look like you yes. in a costume. So in the first round of voting, Mannequin won. <laughs> um, we are now voting between Mannequin, Lanesra, Cherry Lolly, J no, Cherry Jolly, mm. and Dolly Fab. And after that, we need to do another round of voting. <laughs> I can only do four at a time. Oh, okay. Ash said, Harlequin the Mannequin, <laughs> Holly for short. <laughs> and then Saskia says, Holly Quinn. <laughs> and uh, Holly Quinn when it's Christmas. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So there we go. I have now... <laughs> and Petrushka. Uh, if you look at that, that's what we ended up with. Okay. So also remember that the slit is in front. So what are we going to do now is we are going to just line up the side seams. And... This is just, you're going to line it up like this, and just so that they, they are together. All right, because once we've done that, and I made all the pattern markings on the freaking, oh no, I ironed them all away. <laughs> okay, so that's fine, because now you're somewhere <coughs> going to see what I'm doing. So once I've lined that up, and I've since lost my pattern markings um this should have used the pencil this bit which one would think is a slit that's not the slit that is actually our modesty cover side seam because this Holy whole Quinn. thing is like we say in the, the instructions it is a traditional piece of clothing and so we it needs to <coughs> just get this there all right okay that's i'm not doing what i said um, no no I'm, I'm gonna and once you've drawn that side seam just put some pins through there so that i didn't mark this very well now but I mean, I, I sort of know where I'm going. And there we go. And there's my stop. And I'm gonna pin that. All right. These are soft today. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna just do exactly the same on the other side. And this is, guys, when you, this is also a place where once you've gotten to this part, and this is where I would. <coughs> pin this line and fit it because if you exact ex exact again like me i don't know what i was <laughs> trying to say there if you like me and you got like wide hips this is the point where you can this can be moved a little bit to give you more space on the the bum <laughs> all right okay so we're gonna just do that match that up Okay, guys, so um, this, I never thought of that, but using those markets that, markers <coughs> that iron away, <laughs> remember, they iron away. I was going to brag about my awesome iron away <laughs> markers. <laughs> well, they work. They do. They, they actually work. Oh, yeah, I can see this line. Oh, but anyway, here we go. Okay. What are you using tomorrow? It's a, a random. Either iron or white pin. Okay, 
So again, I'm just going to mark my top. Um, anyone who knows caftans also know that this, this bit here is the part that tears very quickly. So if that happens and it keeps happening, this is also the point where you can just give it a little bit of stiffener because it depends on the fabric. Okay, so like this fabric is going to, it's going to quickly tear open there because it's a very loose weave so i would just inside obviously because remember this is now the right side that's outside now yeah? i would just give it a little bit of that iron it on there it just gives it a little bit more strength okay so i'm gonna now sew from the top it's almost done peeps it's almost done all right and i am going to start by enforcing obviously because i don't want and i am going to sew down the line that i've just drawn there we go oh um and I would also suggest that you actually do the hem before you do the sewing. I just saw this now. <laughs> so, yeah, do the, the bottom hem before you actually do this. Or leave it like this so you can fit it. And you can just loose, loosen a little bit to, to put your hem in. It's, it depends. Some people, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of a, a fitter while I work. So I like to get my, my um, project to a point where I can actually fit it because there's nothing I hate more than finishing something and then it's like a centimeter too small because then when I'm done taking things apart just irritates me so I like to actually fit it in the process and um, if you think about how people design and and make things and if you think about your own like a wedding dress I mean there's a few fittings in there and that is how you get the perfect fit okay so that is done i just want to get it to a point where you guys can see you can see the vision mm, we have a lot of people watching today there's a vision and there's... they must all press the like and subscribe button right now yes okay so now that you're at this point obviously as i said i would have i would have hemmed this and while you're hemming you're also gonna uh edge your slit and remember guys this is where you can also make that slit more revealing more like sexy all right i don't know this is also just turn it over if this is an evening dress i would actually not hem this because if this flaps over the wrong side of the fabric is going to show okay so what i would do is i would actually create a piece of fabric like this and i would like maybe a contrast color and i would add it on like that so that it does sort of give you a, a very nice finish okay so this also this is actually made that you could just turn it around and um sew it but we are seriously running out of time so i am going to put this unfinished on oh. so you <clears throat> guys can have a look um, hopefully she fits through her own shoulders which she does because she's just freaking perfect <laughs> all right wait for it she might be more hippie than this pattern okay so you could just wear it like this all right and this is not so, as well as the previous one so that's good okay so just yeah, wearing it's not it's not just as, yeah <laughs> she doesn't have arms so this is gonna keep dropping but can you see that it actually goes quite low that's the wow one all right but now now i like that though i'd wear that low view i would actually but make now the slit this, in the front higher this, let's just show you what <laughs> it 
what a difference having this there makes. I mean, I would wear it like this. I would also, um, just because of how I wear them, I would not have the wow uh, front because I would fall out of it sitting down working. <laughs> um, I think you need to make a slutier version. Uh, there is a, there is a, this is the slutty version. Even more. Okay, guys, just <laughs> get, let me just pin her. Because this is always a problem with mannequins. Is If they don't... When I used to... They have arms, normally. This, this girl came with no arms. <laughs> so let's just pin her. So that... It holds. Okay. All right. Oh. And ta -da. Okay. So I'm coming through the through the buttonholes, and the buttonholes, if you notice, actually goes higher, is higher up than the side slit. All right. Okay. So check this. Check, check it. Wait. Let me. I'm gonna make a wild moment. I think this could do with a little bit of a thicker belt also. Okay, now please imagine, imagine she has arms. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Mm. But can you see that if this is like a soft, sink, slinky fabric, mm. it is such a classic Yeah, it's look. like one of those like rich women walking down exactly. the massive staircase yeah. robe and he had some and feathers. then you have like that you know those necklaces <laughs> where it v's here and it also has something that runs mm. down your back with like a this shouldn't have this here but like a like a gold little belt mm. just this and in feathers, black feathers on the side all just this in black ne? so this you see you can actually as i said this is where the tailoring bit comes if you're making it for an evening dress, you could have that to be, see? Yeah. Tight that tight. really gives you like, I know, I think and Angelina it's Jolie. This fabric, because if it no, was no. like a slinky fabric, it would. Hide it would. Fabric. And also if this is done in my size, it'll be more drapey because it's yeah. more and it's heavier. <laughs> um, but I'm sure there was a, 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 a red carpet event where Angelina Jolie had something like this on and at that stage I thought she was too young for the look but it actually it's just classic it's mm. just yeah but but you can make it quite yeah so guys I should I don't have see the problem is I don't actually have dress fabrics here <laughs> I just have like project fabrics so this should have been in a, like Sus a... Yes, the slutty tutorial is at 11 p.m. tonight. Yes. And um, Saskia is presenting it. Look. We'll all be tuning in. <laughs> but how, how strange that something that's so oversized can still be something... If you if you bring this, if I, if I pin that to her body, it... Can you see? Mm. It can still give you... I have a figure under here, but mm. it's just, yeah. Anyway, as I, I think said. think the slit could be higher in the front, don't you think? Yeah, but it was very, remember, I cut off a piece because she's not real length. Okay, okay. She should be taller. Yes, yes. For Sonia. Yeah, yeah. But she, I mean, you could always make it a little waist. Slit higher. That's her hips. This, there should still be a head here. <laughs> so she's too short. I cut off quite a bit of the pattern. Okay. So the slit, if you look it's at that, a slit, yeah. it is, remember, we we measured the uh, cushy to be here. <laughs> so this is just above. But that's why I say, yeah. get it to a point where you can actually put okay. it on. Mm. Because Maybe then it it's easy to go like this and go, okay, guys, this needs to go in like two centimeters. Then you just sew a new sighting. Mm. If this is too tight, you go, but I've got all this still, so I don't have to take a bigger size pattern necessarily. That's why you'll see, there, there's, there's, I, I made it literally size one, two, three, because there's no way <laughs> that I can make this 
in an extra small. What is an extra small? Mm. It is. It's just moving this bit. These bits. I planned one. What do you guys this. think? Can do you I, like it as much as me? Can I use bonbon fabric? Yeah, bonbon is p perfect because that's gonna give you. That's gonna give you a very sort of like fitted slinky bit so you can really make this front bit um very fitted and you can remember you can fit the front and if you like don't want you could have this be less yeah fitted and then the other option is you don't have to make it that fitting you can just pull the back bits to the back yeah depending on if you're gonna wear it on a freaking yacht or on the beach or where mm. okay and this looks very long but remember if you put your arms down your arms hang past your hips and her hips are here so it actually she has no hips <laughs> <coughs> so it actually just comes to here mm. and it can be shorter it can be longer it can be over i've seen them where they like really do that sort of mesopotamian like greek goddess where where it's like a see-through yeah and it's like yeah i mean deborah says hi it looks really lovely i i i uh, honestly i love these for the exact reason is that i'm 52 i don't look freaking awesome <laughs> to myself in a, a costume I find that just I don't like walking around in the house in my costume I just don't I, I've never done that I'm not that type it's not a type of person I'm just not like that um, so I've always either had a wrap around my hips just you know you don't have to like you, you know manicure the lawn every day um, if you have something that you can wrap around and yeah saskia says need to go print this off quietly in between my work documents at the office yeah it's quite a big pattern saskia yeah, so so quiet. so so uh, i would say print like it, it comes in a row a yeah and a row b because i don't know if you you said was it like it's 60 like pages. Or 40 pages yeah so it's um, a really big <laughs> pattern okay but it's only one imagine i did a separate back <laughs> Um, but I actually Gail feel like says I might, love, love it. I might have to make myself one. Love it. Gail says definitely going to get this pattern. And then hearts and lovey, 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 soppy. Yeah, see, I... Please press the like button I, if you love it. Did, don't you think... And if you oh, hate it, press the like button. You know what I must do? Remember, remind me next year to buy... I must buy some fabrics. Because yes. this is... I mean, I would wear that. Yeah. Nah, but... I think the look would have been well, so... Well, this looks beachy. You know what yeah. I'm seeing here? Make this out of towel fabric. Oh! Oh, yes. Well... Because that like looks like a towel, right? Like it looks a like a beach thin towel. towel. So that, that, that plan really that fun. I do... Nay, that plan that I do where I get in the pool yeah. and I just get out, you, you like just that put thin, it on. Like that thin, like, colourful beach towel fabric. That's, I like, my, that's what this yeah. looks like. No. Um, I leave my, I, I even, I don't, I don't dry myself, I don't dry my hair because previously I worked in my garage and my garage, <laughs> it, it is literally like a freaking oven. It's like hot, hot. so hot. It gets that like, so the dripping hair and the wet costume is what keeps me cold and then I don't have to use my aircon. So, yeah. Uh, Saskia says, looks super comfy, like something I would live in. And exactly. Like Mia says, my next project. I made the cha Japanese apron yesterday. We'll send a pick and group. <gasps> yes, oh, please. Yeah, actually, that's been a yeah. while. Do we have a proper okay, but guys, I also want to say I that here. that I wonder. Oh, yeah, that was a cool. Imagine one. this. Imagine. Oh, it was this year. It was our. It's the aprons we use for pottery. I don't. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder um, what. Sophia let's see if we can get a, a look. My on, kids have guys. those hooded towels, so it would be that kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hooded towels are very easy to make. Yeah, but I mean this. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A no, sexy it's like a, exactly. <laughs> I think it can also work as a shorter bit. I also think so. And I like that. and look at that. Imagine you make yourself like a slinky, like for the wedding, Lisa. 
I will not. No, but I mean, <laughs> and you make it like a top. Yeah. With a, like leggings with it, like yeah. you know, like that. I like it. That sure. fake it's leather, that fake leather leggings with like, mm. and then you have like a black fake leather with a black slinky, a uh, strappy top under this, and this just flows. <laughs> um, I quite like it. Gail says also. thin towel. I think would be a good way to go. Yeah, you're looking forward to it. I've done. Dwa says. Uh, oh wow, I can't wait to make this one. Thank you. This is very pretty. But guys, and I'm not being says, funny. This, this could be a wedding, wedding dress. I know people don't see it now. No, it's but, the but, color, it's, but if it's in But black. it's the design that I visualized. I literally went and looked at traditional, like, it, it's not, it, it, it's Roman. There we go. Roman. I, I looked at the look. And I thought to myself, how can you make a pattern that you can, they call it dress up. You dress it up by having fancy fabrics, by putting one or two pieces of jewelry and it just makes it wow. But you can literally take that away, put it like a, a like a, a belt like this, but like a thickly woven belt and you put some like uh, wooden earrings on and sun kissed like oh, curly yeah, hair nice and well. that's exact and like, same like this. yeah but that exact same black dress can be worn mm, if you go to the, the what's that restaurant on the waterfront with a beachy vibe imagine Grand you can Africa. wear that yeah but i mean you can also make a belt like the one i've got yeah no no a normal belt um, belt yeah and it would look less beachy yeah <coughs> I like it. Uh, Saskia says this one was worth the wait. Yeah, and this, See, what what's nice saying. about this, guys, it is, it is inclusive. Everyone can wear this. Honestly, anyone can wear this. Mm. It's any size can wear this. She also says thanks. This is a super cool one, literally and figuratively. Functional and pretty to look at. And I'm, Rodia I'm, says... I was worried beach. there for a moment that I'm the only person who thought this looks actually <laughs> awesome. Even in this fabric. Rodia says beach wedding white and yeah. lace vibe. I'm seeing, I'm seeing. You can even make this completely see-through chiffon. Yeah. And then you you put <laughs> like a really thin strap. Or you do a complete Kardashian. You put like a black, black bra and a black sort of tight black skirt ne? and then this just draped over mm. and remember guys this has got a seam in the front so to make this into a kimono which we just had a question about it's very easy we open this open. up and that uh, is so, so. it is like a like a kimono and if you have if you have this open your problem is this wide neck, so it's going to keep falling down. The solution to that is bringing the back up, mm. making it a normal back. I like it short. I, like I it, mean, I uh, like it long yeah. too, but I mean, short is like younger. Like, yeah, no. like a teenage girl on the beach type of younger. Mm. I'm going to mm. make one. I'm actually going to make myself one. Well, then you can post a picture on our group. Me? <laughs> yes. I will. Yeah. <coughs> Guys, I, I, like please that, share this button. It's free. It's freaking free. Press, press the like button, fam dam. Yo. <laughs> what is, we should have this is also the one if you want to be a little bit more covered from the sun. Yeah. And if you want to like For all full the, sun, you go on the other one. Yeah. Mm. It's like an evening stroll in the moonlight, sundowners. I mean, with I a husband. imagine putting feathers all around the edges, and you've got one of those dramatic, yeah. divorced widow. But I mean, I just, I, I just, I, I feel like when I wear something like this, I feel so flamboyant, and it's not flamboyant. It just, <laughs> it's a lot of fabric, <laughs> and you just feel like so fancy. Uh, okay, guys, you got five of... minutes. We we need to leave by nine. I love watching you live your passion, Amanda. <laughs> your enthusiasm is infectious. And she tried really hard to like trip me over with all those words. But oh, it didn't okay. Happen. It didn't oh, happen. okay. Second language problems. Uh, <laughs> Saskia says, and if you're running low on fabric or are a shorty, I assume when I said making a shorty. Yeah, a short, yes. But yeah. also, you can also <laughs> make this lace. 
Mm. It could be like three quarter. And Gail says, I'm so glad I joined you, wonderful ladies. I am so glad. Thank we you, because so for glad. a moment there, I really thought this is a look that I would wear, but it's not a look that everyone would let wear. But I think it's all in the fabric. I think it would be super cool as a towel dress for a kitty. Yeah, but I think it'll also be cool even in something like scuba, because what you're going to get then is you're going to get slightly more like angular draping, more like yeah. modern draping. Do people scuba. make stuff out of scuba? Scuba is a fabric that... that like the thick scuba? No, no, not oh. like... The, scuba is a fabric. It's not like scuba diving. Oh. It's a fabric called scuba. Oh. It's like a fake diving fabric, but it's not diving at oh. all. It's like a <laughs> drapey fabric. Uh, oh. Le Mays Matric Farewell, the dress. Yes. Um, I made the like the collars and the cuffs from scuba. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. I am oh, so okay. glad. So Thank you. I was sweating there for a moment. I hear that. I think like mosque and snorkel. Yeah, Every time I hear scuba, you know what I feel? I just feel sweat. Because it's completely, there's Plastic. no, nothing, nothing Obviously. natural in there. <laughs> you might be the only natural thing in it. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Guys, thank you. Please Enjoy the Christmas tell music. people about us. Tell them the patterns are free. I get people on these groups and they keep asking for free patterns. And I'm like, guys, the patterns are free. Thelma says gorgeous, love the colors too. And Gail said, I've really enjoyed your live. Yay! Thank okay, you guys. guys. We're gonna switch off they, now and yeah, you can they lock us, to. They lock us in if we don't we leave by nine. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you. Here, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what okay. am I? Oh, I'm Lisa. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye. And thanks for the saving me at the right at the end because I really thought nobody liked this. But, and no. I would love to see what you do, please. Please, it doesn't matter what you look like. I know I won't show you, but nobody's Cut gonna see the photo off. you sent me. Cut your head off. That's what the people in the group do when they like. But more they like know it's me. They post a picture and they. But cut they know their head it's off. me, so why would I cut my head off? That's just <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.